Residents in Northern Moor claim the media's given a distorted view of their area in the lead up to tonight's documentary and they've staged a protest in Withenshaw Park. Maddie Lowne was there for us. Do you live in a good area? Yeah. Actually, it's a fantastic area. Apparently, um, I don't think the Duchess can be here. I think she's in a flat in Manhattan, so we did send her an invitation, but never mind. This is Northern Moor and not Northern Poor. Button Lane shops are all open, fully functional, do you know what I mean? Um, the house, very rare you will see an empty house in a Northern Moor because there's not that many. I think the police surprised at the light that you know, Northern Moors come into. I mean, a lot of people around the country are seeing it as some sort of crime-ridden hotspot in the country. That has surprised us that it's been portrayed in this manner. What doesn't surprise us is the, the strength of feeling among the community and the number of people that have turned out to this event today. The estate has you know, just the same issues as anywhere else in Manchester, really. The turnout today to this event shows what great community spirit there is. There's a lot of work going on with a number of initiatives to try and combat crime and antisocial behaviour as there is in all parts of Manchester and we're having a great deal of success. From the very beginning of this, I've never described the area as Broken Britain and I always told the production company that I will never ever want it to be called Broken Britain because I don't believe it is. I think Northern Moor and Withenshaw and all that area um, are um, fantastic people. I've made some very good friends there and um, I, I really enjoyed my time at Rackhouse School when I met the 250 people that showed up. Well, earlier this week, we've been speaking to residents who live here to show us exactly how they see the real Northern Moor to be. Hi, we're the Donoghue family. I'm Mr Donoghue, and I'd like you to take you on a tour of Northern Moor. So, John, we're on the high street now in Northern Moor. You're clearly very popular in the area. Just tell us what the area means to you. It means quite a lot to me. Uh, I love my residents. Uh, we've got a great community spirit, uh, from senior citizens to teenagers. We have clubs... We have organisations of the church uh, and we've got lots of things going on. So we're just starting getting into the shops now. Tell us about the shops. Do you know everyone who works in them? Yes, of course. This is Bobby's, the local corner shop. This man knows everybody and everybody knows Bobby. Fantastic, good shop and he's very supportive of the community and he's been very supportive about the press release uh, condemning Northern Moor. So we thank him for the support. Uh, can you get everything in there? It looks like the kind of shop oh, you can get everything in. Bob's got everything you need. He's got it. What is it you like about Northern Moor? I like everything about it. I've been here 76 years. A very fine place, very tidy. Have a look at the houses, brilliant. There's no use reporting the odd shop here and there, the odd house boarded up. That You can find that in every part of the country. Hi, Bernard, Maddie. Nice like? to meet you. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. So you're right to come and look inside the community centre? Yeah, if you want, yeah. yeah. No problem. This is a centre that was set up by Sarah Ferguson. First of all, there's been quite a lot of negative publicity around Northern Moor. Do you think it was worth it to have this centre? It just looks fabulous, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't worth having the, um, the bad press as far as I'm concerned because it's totally unjustified. This area suffers from any, like any other area, from crime and various other things. It's no better and no worse than any other area. We think it's, it's good, our area. Um, we, we try and work hard, we try and keep it clean. People are proud of this area and they've been battered by the press. All right, you can look at the negative things, you can look at the dilapidation in Sale Circle. Uh, it, it is there, but that's from years of neglect. We've also got the funeral directors, as Russell, has been fantastic support of the community and uh, he's, he's really upset about the press release uh, and he, he took it very passionate and he's came forward to the meetings and he knows the community really well. So, Yvonne, how are you feeling about seeing the programme tomorrow? Uh, in all honesty, I'm dreading it. <laughs> Not looking forward to it because I'm a bit worried about how we'll be portrayed in the show, so really a bit nervous. How are you watching it, both of you? Watching it with friends, family, on your own? Just on our own, just our, our family, and that's it. <laughs> I'm not too sure I want anyone else seeing it. I'll be behind the city, actually, but I'm dreading it. I'm dreading <laughs> it. I mean, you people are welcome to come and watch it with us. Oh, if you definitely. Feel. So, you know, and s see what the reaction we get. So, Thank you very much for showing us around, John. You're welcome. Thanks very much.
Maddie Lang with that report there. Well, in a statement, ITV say the programme is a fair and accurate portrayal of the time we filmed on the estate. It shows how people want improvements on Northern Moor and to bring back a sense of community spirit. The Duchess and local people raised £40,000 and opened a community centre. The show features lots of positive aspects of community life over its two parts, including a family fun day and local people speaking passionately to the Duchess about what could be done to enhance the area. It shows how local businesses and people pulled together to raise the money and work hard to get the centre up and running. The publicity material issued by ITV in the run-up to the show has consisted of clips, an on-screen promo, interviews with the Duchess and written programme information featuring details on the show. These reflect show content and what happened during filming. None of these materials have sensationalised or taken out of context items featured in the programme.